The Fallout TV show is now in production. We saw just recently how at the start of summer, filming of the show has begun, as well as a ton of different characters have been casted over the past few months. Despite this, there's actually been very little in the way of official news or announcements around the show. Not many updates coming from Bethesda or Kilter Films or even Amazon, all of the parties behind this show. But what we are starting to see is a ton of leaks come out around the show. Some of the major factions from the video games that will be making a return, some of the locations and even vaults that'll be playing a role in this show and overall it's actually giving us a pretty good picture of what the fallout tv show is going to be all about about a month ago one reddit user reports how exterior scenes for the show are being shot out west in montana but there are also three massive stages in brooklyn that are largely serving as vault sets and this does seem to be accurate as we have now started to see some images of these sets leaking online. Hunter World V2 on Twitter shared several behind the scenes pictures that depict vault suits and even more exciting some of the vault sets themselves. With a few of the images having some extras like some of these switches that'll go on the vault walls likely for lights or just opening and closing the doors and even a set of power armor that is likely to be used around this show. And on one side just kind of exciting to see all of this to really see fallout in real life because we've only got a few glimpses at that whether it be cosplay or even some of the live action trailers but more importantly i feel like one of the pretty cool things about all of this is how accurate it is like here we are seeing a half finished vault set through a doorway from afar and you could just immediately tell what it is you know this is a vault a fallout vault specifically i would even argue you could show this picture to many fallout fans and they could immediately identify what that is it has that core Fallout Vault look to it. So clearly vaults are going to be a thing here, and we even got a separate and more direct leak around vaults with the Fallout TV show. One of the actresses in the show recently posted on Chinese social media, sharing some images of her in a vault suit, and in the replies mentions how her character is actually going to be from Vault 33 in the show. This post was actually up for a while. It has been now deleted. It seems like this is probably a mistake breaking NDA, so I don't want to share too many of the details or reveal too much about this actress overall, but there are some other images shared that definitely seem to confirm they're going to be a part of the show. It's not clear if they're going to have a massive or minor role, but definitely a role and seemingly going to be a vault dweller. And you have to imagine this is going to be that familiar tale of over-the-top exposure, going in line with how one of the showrunners described the TV show in the past, where there'll basically be a bunch of vault dwellers sealed off from this cruel new and post-apocalyptic world, and we'll get to see perhaps some of their interactions in the vault, but more importantly, these vault dwellers' initial reactions to the apocalyptic landscape they now find themselves in. Basically just the experience we all have when we play Fallout 3, 4, and 76. Although I do wonder if we'll actually get to see a lot of inside the vault, but more on that in a moment. We also get a look at this power armor, which is exciting. I feel like just seeing power armor being in and around this set is pretty interesting, and just seeing power armor in real life is exciting overall. It being in the same bundle of pictures as the vault set and actually the vault suited individuals makes me wonder if this will actually be around the vault, like power armor in a vault. If you think about it, that's actually pretty rare. If you think about the Fallout games overall and your time spent in vaults, the vast majority of the time there isn't actually any power armor in the vault most of the time that's only on the outside so it makes me wonder what kind of role this will play is it actually related to the vault set we could see with these images as it is on the same soundstage or is it just being done at the same soundstage and will be used elsewhere but either way one of the pretty crazy parts about this power armor is it does seem to confirm the brotherhood of steel will have a presence here and likely be in the show overall because you know it's bethesda they're playing a role in the development and bethesda just has to put the brotherhood of steel into everything although in fairness the Brotherhood of Steel are probably the most well-known Fallout faction. And if you're wondering why this confirms the Brotherhood of Steel, well one, it's a T-60 power armor, which of course is often used by the Brotherhood of Steel, but even more importantly, you could actually see a Brotherhood of Steel knight insignia on the left arm. That little red arrow isn't random, this is actually very specific and going to be a part of the Brotherhood of Steel skin in-game, and even more specifically, this determines the Brotherhood member's rank. If you are an initiate, you're going to have the same arrow but not filled in, as you rank up beyond knight and even further to Star Paladin, you'll actually see a lot of extra details around this, whether it be stripes or extra icons. And though we just have one crudely taken image of a piece of work in progress power armor for a Fallout TV show, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around how you have a piece of Brotherhood of Steel power armor without the Brotherhood of Steel actually being here. Like sure, they could technically just find it, but to me it seems like the Brotherhood of Steel would be a major faction in the Fallout TV show. There have been a few other images of power armor and even other fan-made things being shared online as 
has leaked images of the Fallout TV show. For better or worse though, these are actually not a part of the Fallout TV show. These are just fan-made creations, cosplayers in particular. There's a lot of this kind of misinformation going around where I think people are just trying to get in on the hype. There's a lot of attention being drawn to these images, and in fact, the most commonly shared images are of the Super Duper Mart. A Super Duper Mart set was set up on Staten Island, just outside of Manhattan. Noticing a theme here, we'll talk more about that in a moment. This actually was an old shop right, and there's been a ton of people patrolling around and sharing photos of this very public set. You could literally just drive up to it if you want to. I'm actually only about an hour away from this, so I thought about driving here, but then I remembered I would be in Staten Island, so I decided no. We can see how things have been progressing at this set, where it just initially set up, but then some of the dirt and sand and vehicles being placed outside. Some of the vehicles actually look awesome. They're that familiar Fallout style of being old school vehicles, but in kind of a post-apocalyptic future and oftentimes very destroyed. Doesn't necessarily look like these are working vehicles, but just kind of scattered around. But the Super Duper Mart overall definitely seems like it is very faithfully recreated. Another hopeful sign that this show will be very true and representative of what is in the video games already. And taking this all together, it's actually pretty interesting, and although we are just getting some pictures here or there, I think it starts to paint a picture of where this TV show is going, where some of the major plot lines will be. We're very clearly getting this vault component, whether that means that the show will just kick off with some dwellers leaving the vault, or more likely we'll actually get some time spent in the vault seeing that dynamic, and then eventually that contrast to the post-apocalyptic world they venture into. You can really see how this will be a plot device to kind of be us, the viewer, in a character. The vault dwellers in the show will be shocked and astounded and need things explained to them, which will be a good narrative tool for explaining things to us as a viewer. The Brother to Steel seem to be returning. This isn't inherently confirmed with us just having that one piece of armor, but I think it just makes a lot of sense. They're probably going to have some major factions from the Fallout universe, and of all of the ones to pick, I think most would agree the Brotherhood of Steel seems very likely. I could see how maybe we're going to follow a character who stumble upon some Brotherhood of Steel knights, and you go through the process of either joining them, being antagonistic against them, or something else entirely. Perhaps they're just backup characters or a backup faction that pop up from time to time. And of course, the Super Duper Mart, which although at face value being pretty simple, obviously there's going to be places like this in the Fallout TV show. It gets me pretty curious. Is the Fallout TV show taking place in and around New York City? So of course, obviously they're filming here, or at least filming near here. Manhattan is what I think many people would regard as the true New York City, especially locally. Staten Island and Brooklyn, very different than Manhattan. But spending all of these resources to film in and around New York seems like it could be relevant. Is New York City or even the city skyline going to be a factor here? It's not like they're filming on Long Island. It's not like they're filming in upstate New York. They are filming just outside New York City, which doesn't feel random. Although we haven't really seen any filming locations or any indication that New York will play a major role here. Obviously, having a vault set means you're not going to see much of New York City. One way this could go is perhaps there's going to be pre-war stuff shot in New York. Then you have a bunch of people go into a vault and then naturally New York is largely destroyed. So you have a more post-apocalyptic look, not as many tall buildings. But one thing we do know is before Fallout 4 was set in Boston, Bethesda Game Studios had a plan for a Fallout 4 set in New York. Perhaps some of their ideas with that story will come to play here. We know Todd Howard's playing a role in the creation of this show, so that could be pretty interesting. And one of the other theories I have with this show is we could see a multiple storyline setup. The show is being created by Kilter Films. The showrunners will be Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, them being best known for their work on Westworld. In Westworld, which is one of the greatest shows ever, and you should watch season four if you haven't, Westworld is back. But either way, in Westworld, one of the major plot devices is there's actually multiple storylines going on at once. You follow different characters in different settings, and oftentimes they convene at some point in the major points in the show. You can see how this can make a lot of sense for a Fallout TV show. Perhaps one of the storylines is a vault dweller. You see how life is in the vault, you'll eventually see them leave the vault, but some episodes, especially early on, all taking place inside the vault. Somebody else is a ghoul out in the wasteland, having their life transformed by their impact by radiation. Walton Goggins is reportedly a ghoul character in this show. He's supposed to be one of the main characters in the show overall. Then maybe you have some other character that is interacting with some of the local factions, or just kind of somebody who's scavenging around, and you have a storyline around them. Bouncing back between these plot lines could be a very interesting way to really show a lot of this world, rather than being restricted by just following one character at a time. As of right now, we don't know how all of this will work, but it's definitely very interesting, and I'm very excited. These new photos only get me more and more hyped, and who knows what will leak next, or what other details will be revealed even officially. With that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, hopefully you found it interesting, I'll definitely keep you up to date if anything else happens. But with that, I thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.